Hello everybody. Today I, Bishop Prashant and SP Saint David Chowman, would like to talk about this storybook called The Way of the Samurai. This book has about 108 pages and, and is written by Ezra Batadami. This book is published by Scholastic. They are, the main characters are Jeremy Stilton, Walt Billy, which is a famous archaeologist, Chok Tao, Chok Chok, and also Lotus Nap. The other important ca characters are Fia, Trap, Benjamin, Bugsy Wugsy, and Grandfather Willem. The story started when Jerry Moore was having his typical Saturday night. He just finished his typical Saturday night dinner, which was one large cheese pizza, one large mozzarella milkshake, and it was really tasty, and one large cheese danish. He was wearing his Saturday night outfit, which was pajamas and cat fur slippers. He was just going through his photo album when he saw a picture of himself with Shorty Tao and Wild Willy. He suddenly received a call from Wild Willy. Hi Jeremy, I would like to meet you at 8.30pm and 18 South Park Square. No ifs, no ands, no buts. See you there. Once he arrived, he saw his name on a Karate Convention Secrets poster. Out of a sudden, Wow Billy grabbed him by the whiskers and dragged him onto stage. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for coming for this convention on karate. I would also like to thank my fabulous assistant here, Jeremy Mostilton. I would like to show you some of the martial arts. After the demonstration, Wild Billy invited Jeremy to Japan for an adventure. Everyone likes Japan, right guys? So that's how Jeremy felt. And then he agreed to follow Wild Billy. When they arrived, they were greeted by a chauffeur dressed in a dark outfit and they sat in a luxurious limousine. And now, the best part of the story. Wild Billy told him that the adventure may become dangerous as they were off to find a secret scroll which, which was a very useful technique to fight a person. It could make the strong weak and the weak strong. As they were heading to Mr. Shreytor's house, they saw wonderful attractions like Giza, Tokyo, skyscrapers stretching so high in the sky, Akibara and the Kabuki Theatre. What a wonderful city. So what happened next? Did Jerimo see the bonsai trees? Did he eat wasabi or maybe sushi? Did he manage to find the scroll? Who was Mr. Shrek Foss? Did he manage to go back? Were there possibilities that he was attacked by ninjas? To know what happened next, you need to read this storybook. And I'm sure you all will enjoy this story. Thank you and goodbye.